did you look at that? I'm not dead. I am sure that most of you have gave up on this channel or just literally just forgotten to unsubscribe. But to all the lovely people who are still here because they're waiting for more videos and who keep asking me for more videos. Hey, hi, hello, I'm Laura. And normally this is an anime reaction channel, but today we are doing something a bit different. I'm just going to tell you what has been going on and the reason why I have not really been uploading anything or why I have not been uploading consistently before. I think I started doing YouTube maybe a year and a half, like almost two years ago. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to like check it. Please don't kill me. And the thing is, back then I was at um, university in Scotland. I was in my final year of uni and believe it or not, for me, as I was going to like a creative university, that year gave me a lot of time to spare. Up until then, I was working full time in hospitality, but for my last year, I switched it to part time so that I can do my dissertation and I can focus on my studies and things. But that also meant that I had just a couple of hours of free time where if my friends were working or if they were working on their project or were at school, I was basically by myself and like I wanted to do something. For a really, really long time, I was contemplating on joining YouTube and this was in my head since I was like a teenager. For some reason in my final year of uni, that idea like started to kind of like take root in my mind. I really enjoyed writing content on YouTube because if you didn't know, I am also a writer and script writer. But the, at the time, I just felt like I didn't have the experience or even just the content to put out about my like writing stuff. So I only made short videos about those for like TikTok and Instagram. But for YouTube, I wanted to do something different. And then I stumbled across the reaction videos. I kind of have seen some before. Like I grew up watching Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. And I know that those are not like reaction videos, but it's like a similar content style, if you know what I mean. And then as I started watching anime, I obviously came across anime watching channels. It just felt like that is something that I could do, but I just felt like something was missing. Like if I just sat down to watch anime and like react to it, like it would just be nothing new really. So then I thought about how I could wrap it up with my interest in writing. So I would watch like Attack on Titan, for example, and every time a season ends, I would make a video on like the writing aspect of it and kind of like a little bit of analysis on why anime is great and why a certain series is doing a great job in certain aspects of writing. And I was really, really passionate to do that because I felt like it would add something else to the community and it would also kind of talk about the topic that was a really big discussion at the time, which was how animation fits into filmmaking in general, which I had really, like not even bad experiences at school, but it was just like a very different take to what I was feeling and what I was thinking. Around that time, it was actually getting um, a lot of attention, how like animation has started to change again and there was like new stop motion things different movies that were coming out but it was also a lot of sequels so they had like this whole discussion around this topic which I found super interesting and insightful and also there is this other side to that where it's not just about animation but it's about how Asian animation and media is like a different category on its own. Animation itself is kind of looked down upon in filmmaking, I feel like, in a lot of places and genres. But Asian animation especially, it's just like something else. Like I got bullied for watching anime when I was a kid. And I know that it started to get more and more popular nowadays and it's more in like the mainstream media. But what we need to realize, I think, that anime as it is and how it's written and how you're watching it should 
and is influencing today's media. And the same goes for books. I'm not saying write a book like an anime, but like there are certain themes and motives and like character descriptions and, and story arcs from anime that could really help you along your writing journey, in my opinion. Like one really good example for this is the new Puss in Boots movie. They had the sequence where Boots is like running on like the roofs. And a lot of people actually compared that to Attack on Titan because it took inspiration from that and it just seemed to run with it. And it turned out as a really, really cool sequence. So that is like a very obvious anime influences Western animation. There are a ton of aspects of this series that we could look at and try to like analyze it the same way we analyze Western TV shows and movies, especially in film school. Because believe me, I was there for four years and we barely talked about animation. And I know I didn't go to like an animation course, but as like a general filmmaking course, I think animation should still be mentioned. That was kind of the plan I wanted to go with. I started filming videos and I started editing them and like putting them out and posting. And for a good while, it was like consistent. But then summer came. I finished my university degree and I was going into capital lettered adult life, I guess. And I just wanted to move back home and see my family one last time because after that if I got a job in the UK I didn't know when I was going to be able to like go home again and like see my family however then summer turned into another year and now a second summer passed because the thing was I could not move back to the UK this had like a bajillion reasons some of them good some of them bad I'll talk about like the main one later in this video what happened is I could not get back to the UK so I had to stay at home which was okay but I also had to work because I was now an adult and like you know you need to pay for stuff. I had a summer job when I came back here which was fine for the summer but then I got stuck at that job and that job was in hospitality and I am still in the job. It's not even that the job is like really bad it's just as all hospitality jobs, I feel like it's taking up most of my time. Basically, this just meant that I was exhausted all the time. I am dealing with really not nice people. I feel like everybody who worked in hospitality at some point in their lives can relate that hospitality jobs are not good for you and for your social life and like your hobbies. It's just not working out. So this obviously meant that I did not really have time to film or to edit or to do basically anything except come home, cook something, eat something, watch like maybe an episode of something and then go to sleep and then do this over and over and over again. Before you come for me, like why haven't I changed jobs or like got something else, did something else? There is literally nothing like absolutely nothing here to do even right now I'm actively searching for something else to do there are two jobs available and I applied for both of them and I haven't heard back from them yet so that's one part of why I have not been basically uploading because I just have no time to film or edit but there is another major major reason which has been with me since I started YouTube which was the main reason for not uploading consistently at any point and that is as of this August I have been officially diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. I am not going to tell you what it is because I feel like that is still personal. Basically that is what has been going on. If you don't know what an autoimmune disease is, is basically your immune system which is supposed to help you fight off infection and bacteria and stuff like that confuses good bacteria in your body and attacks it because it thinks that it's bad bacteria and it's trying to kill you but it is in fact your immune system that is doing that in the process please don't take that as like a proper medical description that is my understanding of what this thing is and what it is trying to do to my body Getting uh, an autoimmune disease diagnosed is like pretty rough, 
obviously going through that as a woman is even worse. It took years for me to like get to this point and but I also did not get any medication in the meantime which also meant my symptoms getting worse and I me feeling just like really really sick most of the time. It started to get worse in my third year of university where I had like my first very serious hospitalization it just got worse and worse and then I had like very scary flare-ups and stuff like that when I started YouTube that was also the time where I started to get like proper um, tests done for my specific disease and when I moved home it got to the point where it was like we need to figure this out here and now because the periods where I was feeling really bad kind of overtook the periods where I was feeling good but lo and behold I got a diagnosis that's not where this story ends unfortunately to get there I had to do a bunch of tests but during those tests I got sick before those tests I caught a summer cold if you're an autoimmune baby you know that if you get sick in any other aspect it's like much harder to get out of it and like your immune system takes a longer time to get back up because of the medication that we're taking and so at the test that they were doing I caught a different kind of bacteria and I got ill and then I got out of that infection and now I have another one so I am feeling better don't worry and hopefully this is like going to be the end of it and by the end of the week because I'm filming this on a Thursday I I'm really hoping that by Sunday I will be like good enough to rejoin society basically I spent my entire August out of work out of the outer world and at home that is basically the gist of what has been going on and like where have I been I could probably explain this like more lengthy but I'm just not going to because I don't want to bore you or bore me don't worry about me by the way I'm like fine I got proper medication I have like a doctor that is looking after me I am finally in a space and like a head space and like energy level but where I can make videos again there are a lot of things in the works and like planned and what I'm trying to get through but I do want to keep making this anime channel and I do want to like start doing those like writing analysis videos that I was talking to you about in the beginning of this video but that being said I am also still ill I wanted to have like the relaunch of this channel like the beginning of September that is I not plausible but just know I'm not giving up <laughs> I'm still here I'm just gonna try to get like videos out by the middle of September probably I think this one that I'm doing right now is going to go up either the first or second of September and then just so you know like what's coming and what's going on and then I'm gonna try to like get like the first episodes out and like mid-September I think the first one is like the long-awaited golden Kamui reaction if that's not going to happen then October for sure I don't want to like put it off any longer than that the very beginning of this channel relaunch is still going to be old videos because I have like a bunch of them stocked and like filmed this is kind of like the new background that I have behind me there's like no light set up I, I just wanted to like sit down and get this video out there's just gonna be new videos and new reactions out for you. I think that is basically what I wanted to say. I hope you're having a great start to your fall. If you're back to school, I'm sorry, but hang in there and have a nice week um, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!